Hello, my name is Rob.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a script that will rotate images and then merge them images together. So, if you know what I mean, so like um, like a rotating banner sort of thing. Um, now, originally, when I was going to do this, um, I came up with a script, and it was quite complicated. Uh, so, after doing a bit of research, um, I actually came across this website here, which I will put a link in the description because basically the code you need here. I'm just going to modify this code slightly um, and this is basically the demo of what it's going to look like um, so as you can see the image changes and sort of merges in like fades in if you know what I mean so basically this is the code here um, but I'm going to talk you through the code and tell you what this is all doing really um, right so I've got a blank page up here first so first of all um, you will need jQuery for this um, okay so the third thing we're going to do is create a div ID and call this banners because I'm going to be using banner images for this so img source and I've got some images in an images folder um, called banner1.jpg um, and you are going to see that a class on the first one of active Okay, um, now what I'm going to do is just copy this down twice, get rid of these um, classes on the last two, um, and then change this to two or three. So we've now got three images on the page. If I just refresh this page, we basically got, I've just created um, three images like that and different colours and different banners. And we're going to sort of merge these in together now every one second. Um, right, so where are we? Um, so next what we're going to do is, um, before we actually start coding any jQuery or JavaScript, what, what you need to do is do some CSS. Um, now what I would recommend is not doing this in the same page, use an external file. The same with JavaScript, I'm going to put some JavaScript down here. What I'd recommend is um, putting this in an external file again. In fact, just spread them out. Okay, so in the CSS, um, I'm going to style these banners, um, div tag, and the position is relative. Um, and then we need the banners images so the images the image tags in the banners div basically so any images that are inside banners um, we'll get this so position um, absolute and we want to use z index one basically what z index is if you've never come across it before um, it's basically a way of ordering images on the, on a page if you know what I mean so basically if the higher the sorry about that um, so basically the higher the Z index the um, the front of it's going to be so say if you add an image with a Z index as one and then a Z index of two on another image the Z index two would be on top of number one if you know what I mean so um, you've, it's, it's ordered one, two, and so on. So the higher the number, the on top of the other image is going to be. If you sort of know what I mean. Um, and then we're going to go um, banners image active. So we're going to style an active class that is in an image tag. So if an image tag has got the class active, which we have got one here. Um, and make sure it's in the banners div so it only applies to anything in this div um, so then if it is we're going to set index 3 okay so that's basically the CSS done um, so now onto the JavaScript what we're going to do is do document dot redder function in here um, 
let me just clean this up a bit. Right, there we go. Um, so first of all, what we're going to do is set an interval. Um, and inside this interval, we want to run a function. So, um, I've done that right. Let me just have a quick check. Alright, extra bracket. <laughs> um, so create the function in that, and basically down here after the bracket, we want to set the delay or the interval or the timing. So I'm going to do every three seconds. So three thousand milliseconds is three seconds. So every three seconds, whatever's in this block of code now is going to run every three seconds. Um, so first of all, we're going to get current active image. Um, so we're going to get a variable called active, um, and that's going to get um, the an active class inside the banners div, basically. So that's going to get an image tag, basically an object image that's got the class of active which is inside the banners div um, so now we're going to say if there is another image or object because you might not be working with images as such um, if there's another image left then make that image next um, this will come clear in a minute if if not, um, go back to the first image of the banners div. So if you don't understand what that means, you probably understand a bit more in um, the code view rather than that. Um, and why are we getting an error there? equals right um so if active dot next um, dot length is greater than zero so basically if um, actually I'm just going to get rid of them then if it is we're going to create a variable called next which is equal to Active dot next. Um, so basically, what this means is, if there is basically like what I said there, if there is another image in this. So we're starting with this one. So at the moment we're here, then at the moment there's two images left in the div. So then if we're here, there's going to be one image left in the div, which is what this is here, this length. So there's one image left. So when we're here. As you see, there's nothing next. So, because there's nothing next, we're going to do an else, and the variable next is going to be equal to um, banners img first. So the first image tag in that div. So say we're here again, um, and we get to this. So next is now equal to banners. So the an image tag, the first image tag of the banners div, read it backwards. Um, so the first image tag of the banners div, so we look for the banners div, um, we find the images tags, which is the only thing in there, and then we get the first one, which is now this one. So this now becomes um, the next. Um, okay, so hopefully that makes sense. Um, so now what I'm going to say is um, get the next image ready. by modifying the Z index. So next dot CSS. So we're going to change the Z index to two. Um, and then we're going to fade out the active image. Then so you'll see what I put by then in a minute. So 
um, active dot fade out. You want to do it for a thousand seconds. Well, not a thousand seconds, a thousand milliseconds. Function um, in there. Okay, so that's what I've put then in that. So um, once you've faded it out, we're going to move the active image to the back of the pile show it and remove the active class and then we're going to make the next image the active one okay so for this bit it's just active.css Said index one. Then we're going to show it, um, and then we're going to remove class active from that. Okay, so this is next.css. Said index three, um, and then we're going to add the class active onto that um, so there we go that's that's it I think so if we just try this out refresh the page right there we go but for some reason it started with banner 3 um, and faded in there so we've got a slight problem wrong with this um, so let me just have a quick check of the code so let me just refresh again so he starts with banner 3 for some reason. Doesn't fade into banner 2, it's like going backwards. And then back to banner 3. Okay, so let me just have a check. Okay, I think I've found the problem, but I'm not sure if it is. I've spelt banners wrong here. Um, you probably know it's that straight away. One until I was doing it. Um, so let's just refresh and see what it gets. So banner 1, um, after 3 seconds, it will fade into banner 2. After three seconds again, it will fade into banner three and then back to banner one. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Um, if you want to add another banner, all you do is basically just add it to the bottom of the pile here or wherever you want it to be. So I've created a fourth one. So if I refresh, once we get, um, it'll just automatically update and fade in that banner. So three and there we go and then it'll go back to one so thanks for watching and i will see you next time